Hello and welcome. I'm Joanna Yunak and this is GFN News on GFN.tv. The Global Forum on Nicotine 2024 will be taking place this June in Warsaw, alongside brand new sessions, keynotes, workshops and brand new for 2024 the GFN Film Festival. It's a place where filmmakers, creators and advocates can introduce their works that highlight the importance of tobacco harm reduction as a key public health strategy. It's an opportunity for present your narrative, documentary or animated film to the GFN24 conference and beyond. Joining us today to share more information about the GFN Film Festival is Emmanuel Amappe, a multi-award winning filmmaker whose portfolio covers works addressing social problems with a key focus on tobacco harm reduction. Presently, Emmanuel is currently a Kevin Molloy Fellow under the Tobacco Harm Reduction Scholarship Program, concurrently fulfilling the role of a film festival curator at GFN24. Hello, Emmanuel. It's good to have you on the program. First, can you tell us a little bit about your work as a filmmaker and how you got interested in tobacco harm reduction? Uh, so basically, my name is uh, my name is Emmanuel Mape. I am uh, a multi award-winning filmmaker based uh, based in Lusaka, Zambia. I possess uh, diverse experience in uh, in film production, ranging to ranging from fiction and non-fiction. And in the past years, most of the films that I have created have um, have been have been sending messages on social social issues, social problems. And in the past years, in twenty in twenty eighteen, I got to I got to create a film that was talking about uh, about drug abuse. Then it is it is from there that I met uh, I met a colleague from uh, from from Malawi with Jonathan, who introduced me to introduced me to tobacco harm reduction it was like i think the, the the kind of films that you create i think you would resonate well if you would also try to convert the message using uh use you to tell stories about to, to tell stories about tobacco harm reduction that's how i got interested about uh about 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 tobacco harm reduction and also looking at uh, looking at the diverse problems that we are facing maybe from the country where i'm coming from we have a number of people that are addicted to addicted to smoking i thought of it that uh it's one of the ways that I can contribute to, to the noble cause in regards to tobacco harm reduction. Yes, so that's it, basically in short, in short for, uh, for me. You participated in the Tobacco Harm Reduction Scholarship Program. Can you tell us about your experience with it? So uh, I, I got part of the Tobacco Harm Reduction Scholarship Program in, uh, in 2019, where I did my, my, first, my, 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 my first project, which was, uh, which was a short film called uh, Saving Shell, which went on to win, to win, to win a number of awards uh, around, around the world. So my experience in regards to being part of the Tobacco Harm Reduction Scholarship Program has been great in the sense that it has also not only given me an opportunity and the funding to tell my uh, to, to, tell, to tell stories, but it has also given me an opportunity to contribute to to the positive change in regards to to the, regards to the harm that tobacco is uh, tobacco is causing to 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 people around the world. And also, uh, my experience because I've also been learning from other from other scholars who are involved in the in, in the tobacco harm reduction program, and also just being given a mentor to to mentor me in regards to tobacco harm reduction, and also and also my personal life. I think it has it, 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 it has it has helped me in in a number of ways that I can't even explain in this uh in on, on this interview. It has empowered me a lot. And and Kalint, I'm doing the Kevin Molloy Kevin Molloy Fellowship. I'm one of the the spirits of the Kevin Molloy Fellowship for for last year. It has also empowered me academically because I'm 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 studying just because of cause of the Tobacco Harm Reduction Scholarship Program. You are a curator of this year's GFN Film Festival. Are you excited to be part of this project? Yes, I am. I am. I'm. I'm, I'm ex extremely excited to be part of to, to be part of this project. I, I remember this conversation came on uh, came on last year when I attended the when I attended the GFN. I think uh, a, a, a number of people were, were, were asking me to say, and I also I was asking also the organizers of the GFN to say, why can't we why can't we 
have the the GF, the, GF, the GFN Film Festival and it was like I think we, we we had one we had one in the previous years. I think maybe because because we didn't we didn't give it much much attention that it deserved. I think it's something that we should look forward to and and bring back. So I am extremely excited uh, of the GFN Film Festival in the sense that because film has the power to ignite conversations. Film has the power to to, to travel beyond beyond borders, just like the films that I have created in the past in regards to THR, they have they have traveled over borders, not just within here, but they have gone far and beyond. So I think I I, I am extremely excited about this, and I think there's a lot of positives that will come out of the out of this film festival. It's an exciting event that everybody that will be attending the GFN and those that will not be, they should look forward to forward to this and the content that the filmmakers are going to produce and share with us. Great, thank you. So let's talk about film festival itself. What kind of films are you looking for? So the kind of films that we are looking for in this year's GFN uh, ranges from uh, na 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 narrative, narrative short films, uh, documentary short films, animations, uh, uh, pre presentations, and also just, uh, just, just, just interviews. So we are looking at uh, a broader perspective of film. So all these narratives that I've mentioned, the four categories uh, will be there at the GFN. And are there any restrictions about the length of the films? Yes. So there is a restriction in terms of the nature, in, in terms of the runtime of the, of the film, because we are also trying to look at now how now best can somebody communicate the information in a in a shortest period of time? Because I believe that there are people that do not do not stick to the screen for a long period of time. So we have restricted uh, this year's uh, film festival the films to to fifteen fifteen minutes. So the films must be the maximum runtime that you can get to is it's is fifteen minutes. So you can create a short film between one minute to fifteen minutes. So it's up to you as a creative to to see what works for you. And what is the deadline for entries? So the, so the films can be submitted through the GFN, uh, the GFN website. So the deadline for the submission of the films, it's uh, the 12th of, of May, 2024. Thank you. And as we reach the end of our conversation, I would like to ask you, why do you believe that film is a good medium for conveying information about theatre? Um, I believe, I believe, and it was also evident from the past projects that I have created, uh, even just films that have, that have created that not, that not, have not only been centered on theatre and those that have created about theatre. So film has, has proved that it is a, it is a great medium that we must embrace in, in regards to sharing information about, information about, about, about tobacco harm reduction, because film, film can, can ignite your conversation. Just somebody, through, through somebody watching a film, they're able to start, start creating conversations, creating debates on the, on, the, on the subject matters. And because film can also create an emotional impact on, to the people that are watching, to the people that, uh, that are watching the film. Then, and, and with film, people can easily relate to, to the things that are, happening, that are happening all over the world. Then also film can be accessible in different mediums. So you can create films that can be accessible on your phone, on your TV. You can watch a film when you're on your way, when you're traveling out there. So I think film is something that, that is very important that we must, we must critically look into because film can also serve as a tool, uh, it serves as a tool for, for advocates on different subjects, like what, what we are doing with, what I'm doing with my films. I'm raising awareness in regards to, in regards to tobacco harm reduction and also igniting conversation through, through the medium of film, yeah. Thank you, Emmanuel. That's all for today. Join us in spreading awareness and advocating for positive change through the art of filmmaking at the GFN24 Film Festival. More information on how to submit your project can be found at the link in video description. Thanks for watching or listening. See you next time.